Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too, and on today's video I'm going to show you how to do a BIOS flash on the Gigabyte B450M DS3H version 2. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to do a BIOS flash on your Gigabyte B450M DS3H relatively straightforward thing to do. Some things you will need, obviously, is a processor, because you do actually need to access the BIOS in order to do this. You will need some RAM as well, which we've got installed already. Obviously, a CPU cooler that comes with your processor, hopefully. A power supply to power the motherboard. Keyboard and mouse. Keyboard probably would get by, but keyboard and mouse is easier. And also, you'll need a removable USB drive, and also access to an additional computer to download the updated BIOS. So we've realized that the system that we've got here comes with the original BIOS, which is version F1, and we need version F60 or F61 in order to use a Ryzen 5000 series processor, and also to get the latest AGISA updates. So let's go over to the computer now, and I'll show you how to download the BIOS and how to get your USB drive ready for the flashing process. So first things first is to insert your USB flash drive into your computer. And this one's empty, but we're going to format it anyway. So right click on the USB drive and choose format. Obviously, if there's anything on the drive you need to keep, make sure you've got a backup and just make sure that all of these are reset and make sure you have FAT32 as default. If you have a larger drive, then you may find that you can only have XFAT or NTFS. If that is the case, then you need to use a different drive because it has to be FAT32. You can also change the default allocation size or you can just click on restore device defaults. Generally for most USB sticks, that will revert it back. Also remove any volume label and provide a quick format. So click on start, it'll give you the final warning and then we can click okay. This should take a few seconds depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the drive. So once that's done, we can close that window down and the next thing to do is to actually go ahead and get the BIOS. So we're gonna go and find for this particular board and luckily it's in my google search so let's go straight into that one and i'll put some links in the video description just in case you need them now obviously this is for the b450 mdsh v2 revision one which is the current one on the market this is of march 2021 obviously make sure you do get the right particular boss for your board don't get this confused with the prior version which is the standard d3 ds3h without the v2 that is a completely different board so going into the website, again, I'll put the links for this in the top of the, uh, the video description so you can get there easily. All you want to do is go over to support. Now, obviously, make sure, do a quick visual, make sure that it is the same board, etc. And you can make sure you have the right one. That is very important. So we'll go to support. And what we want to do is go down until we find BIOS. So there's three versions currently. So there's the F1, which is what we've got. There's an F60F, which updated it for the GSA code 1.1.00D, and then there's the 1.200 AGISA code. So we're going to go straight from F1 up to the F60H. There isn't anything in here that says that we can't do that, so we're going to just go straight ahead. So click on the download cloud, and the download window will open. Choose where you want to send the actual file to. Now I'm going to do it to the desktop for simplicity's sake here. And that shouldn't take very long at all. Down in the bottom right hand corner, if you're using Chrome, will tell you if it's done or not. And what we can do is click on show in folder. And yep, that's completed. So because it's a zip file, use your decompression software. So I'm going to choose right click and then choose extract files or extract to. Depending on which uh, extraction software, whether you've got WinZip or Windows built-in one or WinRAR, then this may look slightly different. But basically you want to extract the folders or decompress them. And that will give you a folder with the BIOS. So we've taken a look inside. Now you've got an auto exec bat file. You've also got the BIOS file and the EFI flash, etc. And the readme. Now the only one we actually really need is this one here, which is the actual BIOS file, which is called a 60H file which is the 16.384 kilobyte file. So we'll put all of them onto the stick anyway. So select all, right click and choose copy. 
then go over to our USB drive, right click and choose paste. And there's all the files actually on the drive. Now you can actually do this within Windows using the uh, auto exec bat file, you can do it that way, or you can actually use it through Gigabyte's own software. That is assuming you've got Windows installed. If you haven't, and you know, this is a new board, and you're just trying to get it up and running for a latest processor, and you've managed to borrow an old one, this is the way to do it. So with that done, we can eject the drive, which we'll take out now. So we're going to put the USB stick into one of the USB 2 ports on the back of the motherboard, which uh, are next to where the keyboard ports are, or keyboard and mouse type port. And in the BIOS, to get into the BIOS, when the system starts now, just tap the delete key a few times, and you should get into the BIOS. And the first screen you'll see is normally this one, which is the MIT. And quite easily, all you do is go into QFlash, click on QFlash, so then it'll take you into QFlash system. If you don't have a drive in there, it won't open up the system, so don't worry about it too much. So it says there are current flash, the model name, and version F1, BIOS state, etc., etc., and the flash type. And you've got the option then to save the BIOS. So if you want to save a copy of the BIOS, you can do, or you can update the BIOS. So using the mouse, just go over and click on Update BIOS. And then I'll read the USB stick. As you can see there, it says Drive A, SanDisk, blah, blah, blah. And there is the actual file name which we had earlier, the 60H file. So that's all good. Click on that. And once you're done, click on that arrow there. And then you've got the option to press the start. So the system's loaded, ready to go. At this point, don't turn off your system. Make sure that it's stable on the desk if it's on the test bench. And just press the button when you're ready. So now I'll go through doing the BIOS update, and there is handily a uh, little thing on the side which tells you how far into the process it is, so it takes some of the guesswork out of it. Probably a good idea, leave the system unattended for a little while, go away, make a cup of tea, and come back when it's flashed. So we're going to fast forward through this and get right to the very end. So we've come to the very end now, and now it says it's going to automatically reboot. So at this point, I'm going to be tapping on the uh, the delete key. As we want to go back into the BIOS, we don't want it to just load straight into Windows, which we won't do because we don't actually have a drive connected currently. At this point, you may find the CPU cycling, spinning up and spinning down a couple of times. It may take a little while to actually get into the BIOS as it's flashing the new file and also most likely trying to do some memory training as it goes through. And there we go, eventually we get back into the BIOS. So if we go in now and go into system, and now we can see that the BIOS version is F60H, and that's on our DS3H V2 motherboard. And the BIOS date for that particular one is the 4th of February 2021. So it's actually a relatively modern one, considering this is a slightly older board in terms of chipset still seems to be being supported particularly well. So there we, there we go, that is uh, pretty much all you need to do. At this point you can go into the MIT and choose some of your settings, memory settings, etc. You've got the frequency for your CPU and it looks like yeah, extreme memory profile has been disabled. So we we'll probably go ahead and just enable that again to get the full speed of our RAM. But other than that, we're ready to rock and roll. So all you need to do is save and exit save configuration, reset, and then you can go ahead and install Windows or install your new processor. So there we go, there is how to flash the BIOS to the updated 5000 compatible one for your Gigabyte B450M DS3H version 2. Obviously, don't try and do this on the other board because it's a different BIOS file, etc. Very similar process, but not the same file, so try to uh, follow a different video for that one. Very easy to do, like I said before, all you need is the CPU or a compatible CPU with the current BIOS, which is basically anything from the 1000 series all the way up to the end of the 3000 series and pretty much all the APUs in between. I'm currently using a Ryzen 5 3400G, absolutely fine. Memory we're using on here is a DDR4 3600, which works again absolutely fine on the B450 and usually it just dials straight in, so that's really good. And that was the V Color Pr uh, Prism Pro, which is really good stuff. Also, we have used a USB flash drive, which you can just about see, which is in that port there, which is just by the uh, 
the keyboard port, so that's the one I'd recommend. Don't use the USB 3 ones, try and use the USB 2 ones. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward to do. You don't need to put the system into uh, a case or anything. You can do it on a test bench, use a cardboard box or something, which is relatively anti static. Uh, obviously, power supply is needed as well. But there you go, that is how to do it. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. Hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.